Hello Twin Flames, it's Thursday the 26th of January today so I'm going to use this gorgeous deck Mystic Martian Oracle I'm really loving this deck so can we have a message please for this day can we have a message please for this day what do we need to know what do we need to be aware of on this day so there may be a lot of thinking going on today there could be some procrastinating things taking their time so relax and breathe because slow and steady wins the race so really have some time today to think and process what's going on. So the first card we've got coming up is we've got Alpha Prasonius. It says corrupt, unethical cult. So maybe something doesn't feel right to you today. Maybe you are dealing with people who are saying things to you like this twin flame journey is a cult or it's unethical or it's corrupt or it's not real. And you don't have to justify what you know and what you feel. You know your truth. You know who you are. So I'm really feeling this energy here is connected with the High Priestess and the Empress. You standing in the power as a Divine Feminine. And if you're masculine watching this, you know, you listen to your own truth. You are learning how to step out of your comfort zone and take back your power and move out of the crowd. So I really feel that this is about moving away from things or people that don't serve you and moving where you belong, finding your way, finding your kind of people, your kind of community, your kind of place where you fit in. You know, our channel is like that. We're so much more than just a YouTube channel. We are a community of soul family. So I feel this is about finding your tribe. And not caring what other people say. You know, people who go out clubbing, you know, are in a certain energy. People who go and work in the same environment, in the same job, like a big factory or a big office building, are part of the same energy. And this is about you realising where you want to be putting your energy, regardless of what people do or say. And I definitely feel there could be people around you saying things like, oh, it's unethical, it's a cult, it's not real, it's all fabricated, it's lies, all these things that come up, we all get them. People will say to you as a light worker, you know, it's unethical, it's against God, or using tarot cards, or doing Reiki, or and we have to listen to our own heart, because we know our own truth, and we know what's right for ourselves, we know what's unethical and ethical for ourselves, so it's about trusting your own self over, over others. And we've got Andromeda. It says autonomy, free will, manifestation. So you're being reminded that you have free will. Nobody forces you to do anything. You know, nobody forces you to watch a video or connect with a community or be around a certain energy. You decide. You have a choice. God gave you free will for a reason. It's your choice. This is about the yin and the yang, the balance. So if you feel like you've been sucked into something... Remember, you made a conscious choice. And I feel this is connected with the masculine. Masculines, you are now making a conscious choice to remove yourself from places you no longer wish to be. And if you feel like, oh, I'm obligated to that or, you know, I have to do that, I'm responsible for that. You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice where you spend your energy every day. You know, and this kind of came into my awareness when... I had an aha moment, you know, when I was continuously working in my previous job and I was thinking, oh, I have to go to work. You know, I have to. I felt obligated because I cared about the people I work with and I cared about what I was doing and I felt obligated. And then this revelation came to me was you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go to work. You choose to do that job. You choose to get up and do that. And it's the same when we make changes in our life. We choose. We can choose. We are beings with free will. You always have a choice. You may feel that you haven't because you may have bills to pay. You may have kids. You may have responsibilities. But you have a choice. And you certainly have a choice how you can see what's happening in your day. The perspective you decide to choose. Good or bad. High or low. Negative or positive. Happy or sad. You have that choice. So you have free will to choose the way you want your life to be. And we've got Blue Avians, philosophy, releasing karma, mysticism. So this is really about you coming into awareness. And I feel this about you remembering you're on a journey of growth. 
So, you know, you are twin flames, but you're also individuals. And it's about your individual journey to your truth. So you're realizing what works for you, what doesn't, what type of energies you want to be around and what you don't. You are releasing your own karma, coming up with your own ideas and your own philosophy and, you know, your own mystical, magical practices. So this is really about you doing things your way, not what you're told at school or what your parents think you should do or what society says or what's going on on the latest soap or on the TV. This is about you doing things your way. And both twin flames right now, masculine and feminine, are beginning to do things their way. And who cares what people think? Who cares what people think about you, the type of work you're doing, the people you're around, the fact that you believe and know that you are a twin flame? Everybody is doing the best they can. Forgive them. Remember, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And if someone is looking at your life and, you know, kind of being nasty about it or trying to knock you off your path or saying what you're doing is wrong. That's their perception. That's all it is from their own life experiences, their own situation and their own truth. And you know your truth and that's more important than anything. You don't need validation from anyone outside of you, even your twin. All you need is your own validation and your connection with God. As long as you're okay with God, then you're okay. So as long as you're happy with what you're doing and you feel safe. And, you know, I really feel this is also connected with service. Now, some of you are wanting to get into service, practicing using cards or, you know, using a spiritual tool. And maybe people around you are saying, oh, it's it's not right. It says in the Bible this or, you know, it's demon worship or whatever they say. It's a cult or you know your truth because it's in the heart of the person. Light or dark is in the heart of the person. It's in all of us, but we choose the light. So if you're using a card deck and you're operating in the light and with your heart, you're doing it for love. You're operating in love through unconditional love and that connects you with God. If you're using it to create negative things and send out pain and struggle and suffering, then obviously you're operating in the darkness and that's connected with you know, you could say demons or Satan or whoever you're connecting with. But, you know, you're in the darkness there. It's all ego and fear. So you have to think, OK, is what I'm doing helping? Yes. Is what I'm doing serving? Yes. Is what I'm doing helping me to feel at one with everything? Yes. Then you know you're on the right path. So make your peace with yourself and God before you try and make peace with anyone else. And you'll always be OK. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.